In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a red healer. This Australian cattle dog is intense and not for everyone. They are loving and loyal, but this is a working dog, a herding dog that's on a mission. And if you've never owned a dog before, or you don't have experience with this kind of dog, it may not be best for you. So in this video, we'll explain seven reasons why the red healer may not be best for you and your family. The first reason why the red healer may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. When this dog was created hundreds of years ago, its sole job was to be a tireless worker and herd cattle over the vast ranges of the Australian outback. So this dog has endless energy. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you wear this dog out. It's what they want, it's what they thrive on. So if you don't wanna do this or you have plans to just kind of sit around with your dog, that's not gonna work with a red healer. They need to be out moving and especially wanna be with you. It won't be enough to just let this dog out in the backyard, but instead they wanna be playing fetch with you, going on walks, hikes, being super active with you, the owner, because it's great for their minds and bodies and it's great for the bond between you and your dog. Number two reason why the red healer may not be best for you is because of their nipping. This dog evolved hundreds of years ago by herding and nipping at the heels of large cattle. So this is ingrained in them and it's something they will continue to do today. So they'll nip at the heels of you, of small children, anything running around, they'll have the tendency to want to nip. So it'll be up to you as the owner to put a stop to this. Make sure you're firm, direct, and correct them immediately. Exchange whatever they're chewing on or nipping at with a toy of their own. This is a little bit of work that takes some time early on. And if you don't wanna do this, then a red healer may not be best for you because nipping will definitely be an issue early on in their lives. Number three reason why a red healer may not be best for you is because of the mental stimulation needs that this dog has. This is an incredibly smart dog that's only held back by the creativity of its owner. So it's up to you as the owner to challenge them, give them a job, give them a task. They want to prove that they're part of the family and that they're contributing. So if you don't give them anything to do or don't challenge them mentally, Eventually, this will lead to high anxiety. This is when they act out because they're so active, both mind and body. So you can't just exercise their bodies, but you also need to exercise their brains. Work with them, challenge them. There's a link in the description of brain games, things that you can do with your dog at home to make sure that you're exercising both their minds and bodies because that will be very important for your red healer to thrive. The number four reason why a red healer may not be best for you is just because of their overall intensity. Australian cattle dogs have an intensity unlike any other dog. Whether you're going for a walk, whether you're at home, whether you're learning a new trick, whatever you're doing with your red healer, they will do it at the highest intensity level. Meaning that this dog can wear you out pretty quickly. So you need to be prepared for a dog that'll be on the go, both physically, mentally, a dog that will challenge your patience to make sure that you as the owner stay calm, confident, because this dog is an intense dog that was bred thousands of years ago to be a tireless worker. And it's something that you'll need to be prepared for if you get a red healer. The number five reason a red healer may not be best for you is because they get separation anxiety. This is a dog that wants to be around its family and it wants to be around its owner as much as possible. So if you're gone for long periods of time or you don't have the ability to spend a lot of time with your red healer, then this may not be the best dog for you. There's other dogs that are a little more easygoing and they like to be around just about anybody, but a red healer likes its owner and likes its person and wants to be around them as much as possible. And when they're not, this is when they get anxiety, they act out and things just aren't great. So they latch on to that one person especially. So if that's you, make sure that you're around this dog as much as you possibly can. Number six reason a red healer may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. All dogs need to be socialized, but especially Australian cattle dogs because of that intensity we talked about. They are so intensely loyal, for example, that they'll be very protective of you if you don't get them socialized early and often. Get them around other dogs, get them around other people, get them comfortable being around different environments. Because if you do this, you'll have a loving, loyal, friendly dog on your hands. But if you don't, red healers can get defensive, they can get very anxious, and this is when they act out. So it's very important, like with any dog, you get this dog socialized. Last reason why a red healer may not be best for you is because of their shedding. 
This is just a reminder that this dog sheds and they shed a lot. Because they have a shorter coat, you may not look at them as a big shedding dog, but they have a thick double coat that help protect against all kind of environments when they first evolved. So make sure that you understand that if you get a red healer, you're gonna have all kinds of hair all over you and your home. And sometimes that's okay, but it's something to be aware of and know that red healers definitely shed and you'll want to take precautions. Thanks for watching this video all about the red healer and we'll see all of you on the next one.